and hello everybody and welcome to Freedom Fighter you join me today uh, what is known as Mick Sindon Activity Centre this centre is down for closure um, by Calderdale uh, Council and this building to this side here is actually a youth facility uh, for youths. This building here is actually the sports type facility and where they do all kinds of mountain climbing and that type of thing, uh, water activities and that type of thing is actually the only centre which actually offers it in the whole of um, West Yorkshire and people come from all over to actually use this facility and it's actually up for closure um, by Coddale Council um, apparently it's a funding problem uh, due to COVID-19 um, but it's the only facility which uh, offers water activities outside water activities because it's right next to a uh, reservoir but what I don't understand is these centres here are the lifeblood of uh, communities they're right in the heart of communities but the council want to close them but the close it you're going to get more antisocial behaviour more knife crime and all sorts of other crimes because as you have nothing to do so I ask councillor Dan Sutherland councillor Lisa Lambert councillor Stephanie Clark you want to close centres like this which are uh, in the heart of communities and are the lifeblood of communities but you call yourself Labour and Labour representatives but you want to actually close centres like this which support our youths and hello everybody and welcome back this is mixing an activity centre this is the reservoir they actually use to uh, do their um, water crafts so you're losing a vital facility because they come out on here and it's where they do the water activities and that type of thing but it's a vital uh, part of uh, the mixing and activity centre and uh, youths and all that type of thing use this uh, facility um, to actually do their water activities and that type of thing mixing and activity centre and this is the reservoir they actually use guys and girls um, yeah, like I said, it's a shame 
Uh, the area is represented uh, by Labour um, councillors, um, but they're actually planning to close the centre and blaming COVID-19 um, for it. But there's no centres like this that are actually closing as well and are actually uh, blaming um, COVID for it. This is a shame, uh, really. I love yeah. Just doing a piece of mixed in outdoor centre, it's uh, closing because of Covid. They blame it, the mixed in outdoor centre's closing if you didn't know, because they're blaming Covid for it. Oh, I see. Yeah, so just doing a piece on that. It's right in the heart of uh, the community, guys and girls. And you can actually see um, how far and deep the actual the reservoir is in the heart of uh, Mixingdon. So mixing it up to the city centre, which was this rest of while we were just walking around. It's down for closure uh, by the council um, and they're blaming COVID-19 for the closure 
of it. Which will also mean the reservoir will not be uh, kept up to as well because it is the activity centre that uh, area off uh, Yorkshire Water so Yorkshire Water get funds um, for it as well Yuck. This is the activity um, centre. And guys, if you want to uh, tune in this evening, 10 o'clock on Justice League United Mackey, marching on together, you can do, no problems at all. Um, we'll be talking about suicide so I get all muddy yuck 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 all bloody mud <laughs> yeah so it's going to be a shame to see uh, mixing in yuck Yuck, 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 yuck. It's going to be a shame um, to see yuck, 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 yuck. 
yuck. It's going to be a shame to see the activity centre um, go. Um, this is why I get a bit finger. And how the fuck you get out of this? Ah, here we go. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yuck. Ah, fucking bogs. Fuck. I have to go this way, did I? Where coordination goes into it, guys. All right, how the fuck do I get out of here? Should have stayed to the fucking footpath and uh, on the reservoir. Yuck. Oh, bollocks. I spring this off. I'm fucking mud now. Ugh. I do to get a start with for you guys, it's unreal. And people don't appreciate the work I actually put in to actually bring you this type of content. I know why I do it for the use as well. We'll find a way out, guys. Don't panic. Like I was saying, centres like Mixenden Activity Centre are the heart and blood of communities. It's what we need in com communities to keep communities sane, to help with the mental illness, to help keep our youths off the street for from committing antisocial behaviour, knife crime and all that type of thing. These are the centres that help our youths stay out of crime and stay out of the wrong side of the law. These are the centres that support people. These are the centres we need in communities that are as run down as Mixingdon and as Ovingdon and Illingworth and all the rest of them these are the kind of centres we need to support our youths of tomorrow and our teenagers these are the type of centres that help communities but saying this to a councillor And as a and to an MP, it's like talking to that brick wall there. And this is the gate they use 
to actually um, come in. So I ask Councillor Lisa Lambert, Stephen Clark, and Dan, Dan Sutherland, why is it we have to lose facilities that support us use? Is it the fact you like you spinning on the street doing nothing, getting up to antisocial behaviour, knife crime, and all other sorts of uh, crime? Maybe you like that because it actually brings people like into the system and it actually helps you make money. Maybe. Hmm. What do you think? Uh, I wonder. Well, the MP of Halifax's husband owns a homeless shelter. Believe it or not. So, is it that you like people going into the system? Because it makes you money. I wonder. Just look at me feet. Look at me feet. All that mud. Because I've actually just gone mountaineering to get you some footage today. And to bring you a story on our councils and MPs are treating people and treating as youths but of course that's only me saying it you've got your own opinions and of course your opinions are valid like every other opinion but I know where my opinion lies and that's in change and making things better for people and reaching out and uh, supporting people and doing things that support the community and support our youths and support the children and the adults of tomorrow. But like I said, that's only my opinion. And I'm gonna end it here guys. Let us know what you think. Mixing in, activity centre. Like, comment and subscribe.